Hi friends, this is Miss Chris. So today we are going to be reading a story. The name of the story is Would You Rather Be a Bullfrog by Dr. Seuss. Now friends, I need you to pay attention because at the end of the story, I'm going to ask you a question and you're going to be answering the question by drawing what you think the answer is going to be. So let's start reading friends. Would You Rather Be a Bullfrog? by Dr. Seuss, illustrated by Roy McKee. Friends, do you remember who the illustrator is? Yes, the illustrator is the person who draws the pictures in the story. Now friends, based on the title, which is, Would You Rather Be a Bullfrog? What do you think the story is going to be about? Think about it while we read. Tell me, would you rather be a dog or be a cat? It's time for you to think about important things like that. Would you rather be a bullfrog or be a butterfly? Which one would you rather be? Come on now, tell me why. Tell me. Would you rather be a minnow or a whale? And tell me, would you rather be a hammer or a nail? Which one would you rather be, friends? Would you rather have a feather or a bushy tail behind? Which one will feel the best on you? Come on, make up your mind. And would you rather be a cactus or a toadstool or a rose? And which will look the best on you, the long or the shortest nose? Would you rather be skinny or would you rather be a fat? Would you rather be a ball or would you rather be a bat? And once more, I'm going to ask you, how about the dog and a cat? Think now. Would you rather be a rooster or a hen? How would you like to lay an egg every now and then? Would you like to lay an egg, friends? Would you rather have a moose horns or a small horns like a cow? This is so, so important and I want to know right now. Would you rather be a buglo bird and fly around and sing? Or would you rather be a bumblebee and fly around and sting? And tell me, would you rather be a table or a chair? And now tell me, would you rather have green or purple hair? Would you rather be a clarinet, a trombone, or a drum? How would you like to have someone going boom boom on your tongue? Suppose you had to be a letter. Well then, which one would you be? Would you rather be a curly one like J or S or which letter is this, friends? Yes, a G. Or would you rather be a Sharpie like a K or a Z or a V? Now tell me, would you rather be a window or a door? And will you and will you have more fun if you had six feet or a hundred and sixty-four? That's a lot of feet, friends. These are real important questions. Come on, tell me, tell me please. Will you rather be a soda? or a piece of smelly cheese? Would you rather live in igloos or would you rather live in tents? And would you rather be a dollar bill or 97 cents? And would you rather be a mermaid with a tail instead of feet? Or would you rather be a spook and run around dressed in a sheet? Would you rather be a jellyfish 
a sawfish or sardine? And would you rather be this thing or that? Or that thing that's in between? It's hard to make your mind up about important things like that. I can't even make my mind up about that dog and the cat. Okay friends, so now we're done with the story. Remember how at the beginning I asked you to pay attention because I was going to ask you a question about our story. So the question is, what would you rather be? Think about the story, friends. Think about all the things that we talked about. Would you rather be a butterfly? Would you rather be a ball or a bat? Do you want to be a music instrument? Or maybe a letter? Or maybe you want to be really big and tall. So think about the story, friends, and draw what you would rather be. Miss Chris is already done with her picture and she would rather be a cat. I love cats. Now friends, please share your pictures with me and show me what you would rather be. And remember, always write your name, friends. It's very important to keep practicing your name. Thank you, friends. I hope you liked the story and i see you next time. Bye.